What is going on guys today? We are looking at Prime Moment Cliver. He is a 92 rated card. He has got 5 star weak foot, 4 star skills, the exact same as Nedved. He is 6'2 with the high low work rate and he is right footed. Obviously being a striker I'm expecting big things. He has got the flare powered header and outside of the foot trait. And in terms of snats, again we're looking good. The agility balance is looking a little bit off but we do whack an engine on him as the preferred chem style because his finishing or shooting in general is pretty much up there in the max we want to get that little bit of a pace boost to take it up to 94 with an engine you'd get 88 passing which would be quite nice on him to be honest and you'd get 92 dribbling with the agility balance both going up to 84 and 88 we've already got good composure his dribbling in general goes up to 94 and we'll already have the 91 ball control and reaction so absolutely phenomenal there he's got great strength good jumping and amazing heading I'm interested in this card. I feel like he could be that that kind of like one in the dark there where you think, mm, is he worth it? We're going to try him out today, see what he's all, all about, see if he's worth doing. In terms of his SBC, like the others, you've got the bronze and silver, an 80 rated team with one Ajax player. You've got an 83 rated team with one Dutch player and a team of the week. Then you've got an 85 with one Milan, one Barca 86. And to finish off, you've got an 86 with a Premier League, a team of the week, and it's 50 chem. On the market, he's coming in at about 970, and this SBC is coming in at about 850. So, again, it's really not that difficult. If you wanted to choose one, I feel like you could get one done pretty easily, but I suppose everybody's club is absolutely to the ground with that mid and prime player pick or yeah it was mid and prime so hopefully we can see what we can do with all of these i'm hoping maybe we could grind them all you've got six well 57 days to finish them which i think is going to be quite easy but more than likely we'll get another set very very soon because they seem to like put them in bulk and then just go ages without them so let's jump into cliver's review and see what he can do cliver pinches it cross goal nearly on his first attempt into Cliver, you go with the heel to heel. Oh, he stopped for the Berber spin. I feel like he knew that one was coming. That's a cracking ball into Maradona. Can we find Cliver? He's going to come on over. Oh no, we found the back post, and Figo's going to just miss the ball. Got Cliver on the header here, though. Every single time you saw the path all the way to his head. What a jump! Lovely first header for him. Into Cliver, gotta be. Oh, how is he missing that with 99 volleys? Oh, into Cliver. All day long, he's on side there. Go with the little fake. Bang. There we go. Lovely stuff from Cliver put in by Kevin. And it is just an easy little finesse around the goalkeeper. And then literally open net season. Cliver with the turn of a dream. It's a shame that his, his sprint speed just does not let him. He is a bit of a bulky striker, which we kind of expected for being 6'2", and not the most agile in the world, but he definitely needs that little bit extra bit of a pace. cliver has got to bag that. Little scissor kick, thank you very much. We see cliver gone with a little chip. Gone with the other one, and cliver no. Into cliver Pokes it around him. Thank you very much. Finesse all day long. The guy is absolutely brilliant at shooting. Cliver winning the ball back. Helping out his fellow defenders. You love to see the effort there. Put it all on the prowl. He's got to find Neymar here. Unless he passes it off, which is what he did. That's really the only way that he's getting past him. If you are correct with your defender, to be honest. Into Nedved again. Go the little 1-2 inside. Ball roll into the finesse and every time. That is a lovely cut in and it's perfect example of what a right footed left mid can do in terms of going down that wing. Every single time you're going to just find him. It's a cracking ball over to Cliver and he bags it like he should do. And that's I think a rage quit. GG's. Nedved. Hey Cliver with the header. You love to see it. Oh, and Clivert does a lot of the hard work there and then reeks the benefit with the head at the end. So going into the overall for Clivert then. He is a very nice striker. As you can see, 970, 850. Let's just see if that went any different. No, it's roughly about the same. 900 on the PC or PlayStation, sorry, and 1.1 
on the market. He's a nice card. I think what did we have on him? Engine. So we had the engine on him. Turns him into a 93 rated striker. A bit bulky. Obviously being 6'2", he's expected to be not necessarily the most agile player in the world. Even with 84 and 88, you've got to remember where that base has come from. If his base was, say, like 85 and it went up to 90, I'd expect it to be a little bit better. But being 6'2 and a little bit more of a stocky build, I would have suggested that he was going to be bulky anyway. And mainly what he's going to be good at is A, finishing, which... I think is clearly proven. His volleys are quite nice. Heading is immaculate. Very, very nice header of the ball. His pace isn't awful. He definitely can kind of sprint with the best of them. Sometimes he does get caught up, mainly by the fullbacks. When you're going up against the likes of Mendy, Walker, Joe Gomez is a centre-back, to be honest, is pretty quick. So that is to be expected with most defenders like that. And everything else about him was quite nice. The question is, is he worth the SBC? For me, it you can look at it two ways. A, well, actually, you can look at it a couple of ways. Dutch fan, Clivert fan, collector, or you don't want to do it. <laughs> Literally, I think, for me, it's a fair SBC. I don't think it's too hard to grind. I wouldn't go out and go and buy all the fodder right now for it. I would definitely be grinding the game, player picks, doing upgrade packs. Even if you buy the player picks, at least you could be spending a hell of a lot less than going out and buying these upgrades or buying these uh, players to put in the upgrade. Because if you think 847,000 coins, that could get you a hell of a lot of 81 player pick so realistically if we have a quick maths here where is the player pick so if the, if the 81 player picks coming in at 10k for instance say you can get that a lot cheaper say it's what 11 so you've got three what is it five rares is it so five rares say roughly about 5k a okay, k per one and then you're looking at about 800 times six so you're looking at what eight times six is 48 so what 4,800 so I suppose actually about a 10k is about right in terms of that you can go and get 86 player picks done for that so if you went and did Cliver with 86 player picks realistically you should be able to do that SBC pretty simply so that's just the player picks as well that's not any upgrade packs you could go do the 82 to 88 to get the first two done and it should be very simple because if we do look at the SBC itself um, I don't know if we can click it from here Oh, that's perfect. So if we look at it, these two, they've done themselves. Very easy to do. The 80 rated. Again, you could probably get away with fodder with that. That one should be quite simple, just in general with fodder lying around. Um, then you've got the 83. You could get away with doing the 82 to 88 if you're kind of being consistent with funds. Then you're looking at these 85, 86, and I think, what, 86 again? These are going to be the player picks. So realistically, you need 33 players out of the 86 to get into this team. I think that's more than possible to get through two 86s and an 85 done from these SBCs, not even being lucky. I feel like that is just what you'd get from 86 player picks. You should be able to do that. So it is interesting. You can then grind it further, league SBCs, bronze to silver to gold upgrades to do it even cheaper but it depends how much grinding you're willing to do to get this card done but overall i feel like the price is fair like definitely i would consider doing it later um maybe kind of saving up player picks or something like that just to finish it off if you need to but he is very grindable quite easily like the other two i feel like they all are relatively fine to grind he is a nice player great shot on him Pace is decent. Agility balance is a bit of a letdown. Obviously, the five-star weak foot is amazing. Four-star skills is fantastic. Great strength and decent passing on him. So, overall, he's a nice player. I wouldn't go out and buy him personally to put in my team. But as a collector, I definitely want him in the team as a prime moment. But hopefully, you did enjoy this video. Let me know down below what you think about Clivert. And if you are going to be completing his prime moment, SBC. But welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.